Before this video begins, I'd like to thank you guys for all the support I got on my first build tutorial. There were so many positive comments, and it really encouraged me to do a second one of these. There were also plenty of suggestions, and I'll be taking those into account for this video. Now, without further ado, um, we'll build the, uh... Let's show off some features of the Anzer. You're going to want to start off with the most standard 2x2. Lay out a 2x2 foundation plan, wall it in, and create an airlock. You should upgrade the core of the base to armored. Leave the door frames at either sheet or stone. While the TC placement is predictable, it does increase the door raid cost. Continue to lay out the core of the 2x2 however you like. Before honeycombing your base, I would recommend getting a few thousand metal fragments. The outer layer of honeycombing can be upgraded at any time, but the inner layer needs to be upgraded before you seal off the honeycombing. Therefore, once your base is finished, if you have upgraded this inner wall to sheet or armored, then your overall raid cost will be higher. By only placing one wall inside the honeycombing, you reduce the upkeep cost, but you also reduce raid costs slightly. If you feel necessary, and you're comfortable with the extra 500 metal frag upkeep overall, then you can place two walls inside each of the honeycombs. If you do not have a triangle ladder hatch here, you can use a furnace, but I recommend getting the triangle ladder hatch as soon as possible. Start expanding to your second floor by walling off the entire outside. Then wall off the ladder hatch and create a path of garage doors. This part right here acts as nothing but honeycomb, so once again you can add two walls if you need. Create two side-by-side -side square loot rooms right here. You 
can also add a side loot room here that acts as honeycomb by placing a window after you place the boxes. Then continue to add boxes in the side-by-side -side loot rooms. If you prefer storage, you can make this loot room here a normal loot room, or if you think that you're going to get top-down rated, you can create a window drop-down peak to watch people's feet if they hop down. Add garage doors all throughout, and then move on to the next floor. Start off the next floor the same as the others by walling off the outside and creating a line of garage doors. I recommend turning the side loot rooms on this floor into locker rooms. This is the design that I use so you can follow this one. You can also place small boxes in the corner opposite from the locker but it does make it the locker room a little bit cramped. You can place an electric room here, or you can make this another locker room. Now begin on the fourth floor. Seeing as there's room for four windmills, you can make this room here another electricity room or you can make it a locker room with two lockers. Here's an example of how you can place those small boxes inside your locker room.
Begin the next part of your base by creating the shell. The squares in the corners are not connected to the main TC privilege, so make sure to place walls or door frames over top of them to connect them if you're just laying out the shell. After you've finished the shell, begin on the outer wall by creating two entrances and exits with two windows on each side. Now build the inner peak floor like I do on screen. Now wall in the peaks floor and start on the bottom of the shooting floor. Next, follow what I do on screen here. Unfortunately, your peak floor has to stay as open as it is on screen here. You can't place any walls anywhere because of the misalignment of the tiles on the ground and tiles on the roof. If you come up with a solution for this, please let me know in the comments down below. Now let's begin on the wide gap and the external TCs. Credit goes out to Sven on YouTube because I used his methods for the wide gaps. Go out two triangles, a square, and then three half moons, and then one triangle out the end. Then build back in with squares. Build in one final triangle, go out another square to the side, and point triangles in all the way around. It's hard to explain what I'm doing, just follow what I'm doing on screen here. 
Build back with squares, and on the second square out, this is where your external gate will be. Then build out four more squares and raise the last one. Remove the square right before and create a roof pointing upwards. Credit goes to Atmos on YouTube because I used his design for the disconnectable TCs. Place a triangle here, but make sure to keep it either twig or wood. In the case that you've been raided and need to replace your main TC, you'll need to go around and destroy the twig in all of these. Then you can replace your main TC and then place back the twig, reconnecting the shooting floor. Build out two triangles and place garage doors all along them. This way, there's no cheap way to get into this external TC. You either go through three garage doors, which is nine rockets, or go through one sheet metal wall, which is eight rockets. I'm building very simple compound gates. You can improve these if you'd like, but this is just the design that I use. Placing these triangles out to the side allows you to place metal barricades because you can if they're not there. Destroy them after placing the barricades and then your compound gate is finished. Now you can repeat this design on each side and have four entrances to your compound, but I find that to be a little annoying and too expensive. So on two sides of the base, I like to put two disconnectable TCs that don't have a compound gate attached to them. You can do what I do on screen here to do that. Start again with the two triangles, a square, and then three half moons. One triangle out at the end and then build back normally as you did before. Build the bottom of the wide gap design the same as you did before. Now build out with one half moon and connect it with door frames. Then build out three squares and a triangle at the end. Wall this part in and put two garage doors here. Then place your TC at the end, and that's your disconnectable TC with no custom gate. After you've finished all four of the TCs, you can place down the compound. You need five walls per side, so a total of 20 compound walls for the entire compound. Now you can begin on the wide gap shooting floor. Start by stacking door frames like I do on screen here. Next attach a triangle to the main TC privilege here and then two to the outer. Place squares where I do here and then triangles out to the side. Now place squares out like I do on screen here, and then place windows on the edges of them. Place these door frames here to keep people from laddering in, and then wall off the top of your shooting floor. You will need to place door frames for this for the added stability. Now 
Now this ceiling here is optional because you can switch it out for a hatch frame and put a ladder hatch in place of it. That way you can drop down from your shooting floor all the way to the bottom. Next you're going to want to repeat this design on all the other sides. Next you can build this inner layer in case somebody gets a hold of your shooting floor. Do as I do on screen here. Next you're going to want to seal in the roof. In order to maintain stability you're going to need to place a lot of door frames all around the edge of the main base. Place them where I do here. Then seal in the roof as I do on screen here. You can then add up to four windmill towers, but I only add two here because I only made one electricity room. Here's the overall cost and upkeep of the base. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments down below.